Okay, folks, welcome back to The Long Dark. This is chapter number two, or part number two, or episode number two, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we are in video number 15, and we are pretty much exactly, well, we are exactly where we left off, inside the little hut, trying to do our hunting challenge with uh, our little mouse UI glitch that we kind of left at the end of uh, the last video, where the mouse um, in the... Um, campfire menu trying to make water and do all that kind of good stuff and it kept flicking around to different menus um just after i recorded that video literally within about an hour or so ooh, metal container um a note appeared on the devlog to say that they were aware of that problem and they rolled back the um they rolled back the patch update that had been issued which uh, had caused the issue so that was dealt with really quite quickly uh, i've kind of left it a few days just to make sure things have been fixed so let us give it a try and see if it now works. Uh, the only slight downside, of course, is it means I've got to relight the fire, but I'm really low on water, so I really could do with uh, getting myself a bit of water. I was doing really well for coffee, though. <laughs> That's what kept happening every single time I uh, tried to make water. I ended up making coffee instead. So let's just see if we can get this to work now. So that's how we left it at the end of the last video with this UI glitch. Um... Well, it was kind of it was a bit weird. And apparently, it was introduced. There was a patch. There's a hot fix that went out. I hadn't noticed that one had gone out, uh, and it was that that fixed it. And I suspect it was probably broken right from the start. But we we weren't using the campfire menu right at the beginning of the video. So let's give this a try and see if it now works. Because it is. Um, ah, yeah. There we go. That seems to be working. Okay. Let's try one of them on. I've only got a 41 minute fire though, and I haven't really got very much firewood. Well, that'll be enough to give us a litre of water, so let's go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, I used all my firewood stock up trying to get this to work. Which was a bit of a disaster. Ooh. Oh yes, I'm carrying an awful lot of uh, non-potable water as well, aren't I? Because that's what kept happening when we tried to get this to work. It was still working the keyboard, uh, it was just the mouse that was the problem, so... That's all been sorted out now. We've now got plenty of water. Plenty and plenty of water. Lots and lots of venison as well, which we're keeping raw to take back to Jeremiah. Uh, weather conditions are not exactly brilliant outside for hunting. What time of day is it? Going up to midday. Right yeah, we need to eat and we need to drink to counteract the, uh, the fact that we didn't get any water at the end of the last video. So let's deal with that. Okay, really want to do that little bit of hunting. Oops, I mean to drop a decoy there. Really want to try and do that bit of hunting. I'm pretty encumbered, but that shouldn't be a problem because I'm not exactly going very far. All we got to do is head back over here, back towards Unnamed Pond, and then we will come back to the little cabin in the woods just to get our, get our act together. We've got plenty of potential firewood here. Uh, which I think I may come out and harvest. I might drop a few things in the cabin just to um, lighten my load a bit and then come out and harvest. There's loads of potential firewood out here. Now, I also put a snare down somewhere, didn't I? I can't actually remember where I put it. I got so caught up in trying to deal with um, that problem that I completely forgot where I've put that. I think it was on the pathway in, wasn't it? So, as we head back, hopefully we'll find it. Okay, so... Back to a named pond. Coming back up the kind of far side of it this time. Oh, deer's already sighted us, I thought. It's running towards us, though. Let's just uh, st sit here and see if it stops. So it stops running. I've crouched, so if we're really lucky, that deer will stop running. And it has. Oh, I can hear a wolf. There's a wolf. Is the wolf stalking us or is it stalking the deer? The wolf is stalking the deer. Okay. Let's let the wolf carry on stalking the deer then. Let's stay out of the way and let's let the wolf stalk the deer. I don't know if the wolf is going to get the deer or if it's going to break contact. No, it's broken contact and coming towards us. Very, very quickly coming towards us. Very quickly coming towards us. And there's another one running up behind me, isn't there? 
I heard that one running. Ah. Great, because still I can hear the snarling from the other one. Which is now... Okay. Which is now running at me. Brilliant. This isn't going well at all. It's because I'm carrying a lot of deer meat. In hindsight, I should have dropped it in the cabin before I came back out here, shouldn't I? That was really rather stupid thing that I did. Okay, let's drop a decoy. Let's hope the wolf goes for the bit that I just dropped. No, not convinced. Not convinced it is. It is coming for me. Excellent. Very good. Brilliant. This is going really, really well. Let's get ourselves in this hut again. There's a fire there. I can't walk through that. I'm going to set myself on fire. Let's get inside. Well, that went well. That was a good start. In hindsight, what I should have done there was drop all of that venison that I'm carrying. And then we wouldn't have had that problem. Um, bandage. Bandage. Apply bandage. There we go. Apply antiseptic. Okay, so that's our wounds dealt with. No afflictions. Condition has dropped 65%. Yeah, we've got full scent there. We're carrying loads of raw meat with us. That was a really stupid thing to do, really, wasn't it? Um, right, okay. There's no... Well, there is a container in here, isn't there? There's this metal container. Let's drop it in the container. Just so we don't get ourselves in a model. So that's... Hopefully we can drop it all in there. Excellent, cool. Okay, so let's get rid of all of that. So I've got seven kilos now because I dropped a piece. Uh, I need to keep an eye on my clothes. Actually, some of them are getting into a really bad state. Um, I also need some more bandages because I haven't got many of those left. Okay, well, we're underweight now. Is there anything I can drop that I don't really need to be carrying that I can just leave in this container? while we do our hunting. So let's drop those. Let's drop the... No, let's not drop the hatchet. Let's drop the pry bar. We don't need that. Let's drop those two stones. We don't need those. Um, let's drop the whetstone. We don't be needing that. And the spare lantern fuel. Even the flashlight. We don't need that. Rifle ammunition. Let's drop that. Sewing kit. We don't need that. Storm lantern even. We don't need that. Let's uh, get rid of anything that we really don't need to be carrying even extra water. We don't need to be carrying all of that either. Trying to, uh, let's just transfer a leap and a half. Because it just gives us better carrying capacity and it lets us go out and pick a load of firewood up, which we're going to need to do, I think. Okay, that's a bit better. That's looking a bit better. Okay, so our condition is now really... It's not that low, actually. It's not brilliant, but it's not that low. But we do know there's wolves out there, so we need to be a bit careful. But we have got rid of all the smelly stuff that we're carrying. So, I'm hoping... Well, let's go and do a run, see if we can get some firewood. I'm kind of making this up as I go along, hunting strategy-wise, because I don't really do that much hunting, to be honest. So, let's go and see if we can get some firewood. So this is our kind of standard thing whenever we do any hunting. When we come to harvest a carcass, I always try and light a fire next to it. And that does, I think that's dead wolf over there, isn't it? Uh, that does a couple of things. Firstly, it uh, keeps the wolves away, because they won't come near the fire. And secondly, it keeps us from freezing while we're working with the uh, with the carcass and uh, harvesting it. Let's break that one down. We're going to go cold in a moment. We haven't quite hit hypothermia. So let's go and pick this piece of meat back up. That's cool. So that gets us a bit of our meat back. Cold is making my head feel thick. Okay, let's pick some sticks up and then let's head back inside the hut. Just warm ourselves back up again. Before we get our hypothermia risk because it's pretty chilly out here. And then I think what we'll do is we shall... Oh, we've got hypothermia risk. But that's fine. We're not very far away from the hut. So... <coughs> we can get away with it when we're not that far away. There we go. So we're in. Let's warm ourselves back up a little bit. Where can I find something to eat? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. We can. We've got cattails. We're okay with that. That'll keep us going for now. Uh, right. Let's just jump in for an hour then. That'll sort out our hypothermia risk and bring our condition back up a little bit. 
And then, I really do want to get out and get this other deer that we need. I don't really want to have to kind of have half a video where I'm sitting in here just kind of waiting through the night really. So, I want to try and keep ourselves moving if I can. Okay, let's bring the gun up. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. In fact, I'm, just I'm still carrying that. Oh, never mind. That, that can be the decoy. If we end up in a being pursued by a wolf, that can be our decoy. What's the temperature like at the moment? Minus five, so it's actually temperature wise not too bad. Weather condition wise it doesn't look brilliant, but temperature wise it's actually okay. I'm just worried this is going to turn into a whiteout. I'm going to struggle to find my way back to the hut, but we'll see how we do. So I'm kind of using the hut or the cabin just as a base. Dropped all our stuff off in there, right? We like a mini base camp. That's why we're out hunting. Rather than lugging it all around with us. Okay, so. What's the situation out on Unnamed Pond? Well, we have a wolf that has brought down a deer right by us. So. Can we scare off the wolf? When I did this on Forlorn Muskeg, if you remember, we got really quite close to the wolf before it clocked us. Okay. Well, that dealt with that! That was nice and easy. Okay, so don't need to be crouching anymore. Okay, so let's light ourselves a fire then. That just stop us from freezing to uh, to death while we're doing this. So we've got wood matches we might as well use. Cattail head, we've got 75% chance of being successful. The stick gives us 75%. I need a book really. I haven't got a book, have I? Never mind. Okay, we'll go with a stick and just hope it works. I always start the fires with a stick. You get the same chance of starting it with cedar firewood, but I always start it with a stick for some reason. I don't know why. This makes a bit more sense to me. Okay. Come on. We know you want the light. Come on, little fire. This is my strategy whenever I'm harvesting carcasses. You saw it in the last video where we did this. Light the fire next to it. We'll keep that going. Well, we've got a two-hour fire as it stands, so we'll see how that does. Right, the wolves away and allows us to harvest to our heart's content. Okay, well, we can harvest the whole lot, and we've got time to do that. Um, although I also know that if we quarter it, and we use... I don't seem to make any difference which one of those we use. If we quarter it, we're going to get the hide, we're going to get the gut, and we're going to get all the meat that we can harvest from the bags later. So, there we go. If we pick all those bits up. This gear is starting to slow me down. Yep, I know. And, of course, we have a wolf as well. Oh, we can quarter the wolf. I didn't realise that. Perfect. Okay, we'll do that as well then. Shall we just pop a bit more on the fire? There we go. So that just gives us enough time to quarter the wolf. I didn't know you could do that with wolves. Okay, so let's take the bits of wolf as well. It's a rather grotesque scene on the ground right there. Oh, blimey, I'm moving really slowly here. How encumbered am I? Oh, heck. Very. Whoopsies. Okay, let's take a torch from the fire. Oh my god, I can't even move. Oh, okay. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea then. I can't actually move. I'm too heavily encumbered. Drat. Okay, we're gonna have to drop we're gonna have to drop things then. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. Well let's drop the wolf quarters, or the wolf thirds as it seems to be. Uh, because they're less valuable to us than the deers. I don't really want to drop the wolf pelt because that's a nice little... Can I move? Oh, I can move. I can move slowly, but I can move. Okay, let's blow the torch. Let's get rid of the torch. Bit of food. We have a tin. Let's open the tin and we'll have that bit of food. That'll just stop our condition from dropping while we're walking back to the cabin. Just need a quick drink as well. Okay, I wouldn't normally encumber myself quite this much, but uh, 
We haven't got very far to go. I don't know whether those wolf porters will still be there when we get back, but I'm not too worried about those, to be honest. We've got the deer. That's what we're after. That's what we need for Jeremiah, and we can also use the rest for ourselves as well. Is that a dead rabbit over there, by the way? There's something over there. A little kind of black blob. If that's not where I put the snare. Or is that... I don't know what that is. Did we light a fire or something there? I'm very curious, but lugging all this fresh meat with me with wolves around, I'd rather not... I think it is a rabbit, you know. We'll go and have a look at that when we... We've done this. We can actually spend a little bit more time around Unnamed Pond if we uh, if we want to. <coughs> As we make our way back. So yeah, there was a there was a problem with the last uh, patch that went out. I'm not actually sure. I haven't looked at the change logs. What the patch was fixing, uh, or what the patch was doing. But obviously, one thing it did break was the uh, was the UI. But that has now been very rapidly fixed, I have to say. I've left it for a couple of days, but I think... I think the... Uh, it was fairly quick coming out and fixing this, uh, that issue. Okie dokie, so... We have quite a lot of things here, so we can drop that. We can drop all of those, and we can drop that. Now, the only problem with all of these... I've got the wolf pelt, I've got two deer hides, and I've got a whole load of the... Uh, the gut here. I can't really do a great deal of crafting with it because I haven't got enough to craft anything with. So I'm fairly sure you need at least three deer hides to do anything with. Let's have a look. I need a workbench as well, which I obviously haven't got. Oh, and I don't have the blueprint either, so I really am a bit stuck. I assume that's because I haven't got the, the things I need to make it, so it's not put the blueprint there yet. Unless we get it from somebody. Okay, so I think what we're probably going to end up doing is leaving these here. And if we do get to a point where we can come and do the crafting, we'll have to come and get them. Uh, right, so we have got a load of um, deer meat to sort out. So let's harvest all of these. What do you mean nothing to harvest? Oh, it's because I forgot to put the button up here. There we are. Let's harvest the meat. I'm actually wondering whether I could carry the deer quarters back rather than... No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay. I think what we'll do, we'll harvest them all, we'll cook up a big load of this meat, and then we'll eat what we can and carry what we can that's and so see how we do. Because we've got so much of it here that we're not actually going to be able to carry it all back. <clears throat> but we can probably... Uh... Well, we need to carry 8 kilos back for Jeremiah and then the rest of it is, is all ours and I think we've got about 16 kilos worth. Which is a massive amount. Okay. Well let's... Oh, it's gone pitch black. We've gone into the middle of the night here. Let's bring ourselves up a light source, and I think the only one I have... Oh, I have a torch, so let's light the torch. That'll last a bit longer than a match. Still going to use... That's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, so... I haven't got the space to ditch any more of that, but we've... I reckon we've probably got about 16 kilos of deer meat there. Okay, what I'm going to do then, let's eat what we can just to get our calorie level up hasn't gone up massively but we'll drink one of these as well that gives a little bit more yeah that's done the trick and then I shall I shall chuck that in a corner and set the building on fire let's sleep um, Let's do eight hours. Obviously that torch is going to have gone out by the time we wake up. <coughs> Apologies, as I, you can tell my voice is virtually back, but I'm still a little bit... A little bit... Uh, 
raspy. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we've, we've got lots of deer meat, but not much else. Um, in fact, I haven't even got any sodas left, have I? Okay, well, let's eat the another tin, because obviously the tins do weigh quite a bit. So if we're getting rid of those, that's going to give us more carrying capacity for meat. So we really want to carry as much of that as we can back. We'll drink what water we've got. That's not a problem, because we've got some stashed away in that box, haven't we? So that's fine. Okay. Coming through to dawn, so if I do a four-hour sleep, that should get us through until daylight, and then we can start thinking about what we're going to do to transport all of this meat back. Okay, so we're now in daylight. So, how are we doing weight-wise? Well, we are two kilos over and we've still got a load of stuff. We're going to have a real problem here, aren't we? Um, I think we're going to have to make a couple of trips. Um... I think we are going to have to make a couple of trips here, so I'm thinking the best strategy is if we cook up some of this meat now for us to eat, get our calorie levels all the way up, leave a lot of the gear that we've left in here behind, um, make our way back to Jeremiah's cabin, drop off what we've got, and then come back here, pick up some more, drop it off, and then come back and get all of our gear. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. I have been a bit reluctant, as you know, to leave stuff behind anywhere. In case the story suddenly moves forward and I can't go and get it. Um, so we're going to have to work the second trip out very carefully and make sure we take key stuff back with us. But the first trip, we can, uh, we can take a chance, I think. We're not going to need a massively long fire for this. So the bits of cedar firewood I've still got should be enough. So let's get a fire going, and we'll cook up some of this meat. And then we'll get ourselves ready for our first trip back across to the cabin. Now, one of the big issues we've got is we're going to be transporting a lot of meat across a large distance. And we are going to attract wolves. <clears throat> so this is going to be interesting. Let's get this fire started. I don't know whether we have to drop raw or cooked meat off with Jeremiah. It hasn't really said. I assume it, it can be raw, because I wasn't planning on cooking the stuff I'm giving to Jeremiah. I'm only cooking the stuff that I need to keep myself going. So I'm probably going to cook about six pieces of this venison. That's three. That's four. That's number five. And that's number six. And I'm not going to bother cooking the rest. Because that will... Oh, wind's picking up. Fire's probably going to blow out. Not a major problem, because we are finished. Okay, so let's drop back inside then. One thing I do need to pick more of, more of is water. I'm a little bit short of that. So if I just get some of my water from here. Transfer a litre. That should do us. Okay, so weight-wise we're, we're, we're fine. I am actually half tempted, you know, to leave the rifle behind. I can't put it in the container because there isn't enough space. But I am thinking, I don't really need to be carrying that with me, do I? Not for this. So I'm half tempted to leave it behind and use the extra carrying weight to carry more venison back with me. Because I'm not actually going to go... When I get there, I'm going to try and avoid going into Jeremiah's hut. Because I know that the next bit... I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. There we go. That's got rid of that. So that's got us under our carrying weight. So, let's go ahead and eat some of our cooked venison. There's none in the radial menu, so I'm going to have to go in here and get some. So let's eat that. And we might as well eat another piece. 
and drink. And then I think we're ready to head over to the cabin. Because I'm a little bit worried that when we complete this bit of the survival school, it is the last bit, when we go back into Trapper's homestead. The weather's not looking brilliant. What's the temperature like? Temperature's not too bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to chance it. I'm going to regret this. I always do this to myself, don't I? Okay. We've basically got to try and navigate our way back. Without getting lost. It is a campfire. Oh, is that where I brought the first deer down? That's where I brought the first deer down, so there's a burnt out campfire there. Okay, so let's get ourselves back up here. We can do quite a bit of sprinting, because we are, for the first time in the entire game, not encumbered. Um, oh, the wolf bags are still there. I don't know how long they'll last before they disappear, but they're still there right now. Let's cut across on name pond. We're heading up through that clearing just there. Hopefully there won't be any... Or at least I think we are. Are we? Oh, I really don't want to get this wrong. This could be embarrassing. Well, we'll know. If we see the snare, we know we've gone the right way. If we don't see the snare, we know we've gone wrong. Because the snare was behind a tree. There's the snare. So we are going the right way. So that's useful. Hasn't caught anything, but it's useful as a little marker. So let's head this way then. So now I'm going the right way. I've often wondered, because when I'm playing Minecraft, I leave sort of blocks of dirt randomly scattered across the scenery so I can navigate myself, navigate my way back. I've always wondered whether there's a way I can do that in the long dark, so I can basically put like markers, waypoint markers as I travel so I can find my way back down pathways. I'm going to bear this way and follow the uh, follow the cliff because I'm pretty sure that's the way we came down. And that leads us straight across this hill to Trapper's Homestead. Let's do a bit of sprinting because we could uh, do we get in a move on, get out of this cold? Hide in the cabin. I'm a bit reluctant to go back to the cabin if I filled up the um, uh, the chest outside in case it does move the story on and I can't go back and get all my gear. Because that would suck if I end up losing loads of stuff because I've left it behind in the cabin and I can't go and get it. I'm kind of hoping that won't happen. I suppose when we came out of Milton, it didn't happen like that, did it? It uh, it still gave us the choice to... Let's pick some sticks up because we are a bit short of firewood. So it's not actually that far to Trapper's Homestead, is it? It's not far at all. Okay, so we're back to Trapper's Homestead. I don't think I can get in that way. I'm going to have to down and go around the bottom. We'll drop what we've got, well the uncooked meat that we have, I'll drop off. And we'll warm ourselves up in the in the cabin before we head back to get the next batch. Uh, right, okay, so we need to drop off. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One kilo, two kilo, three kilo, four kilo, five kilo, five and a half kilos we've dropped off there. So obviously that's not the full load, but that's fine, because we knew we weren't going to hit the full amount. So we shall go into the cabin, warm ourselves up by the fire. I don't know why I've walked over to the fire, because you get the same temperature wherever you are in Trapper's Home 7, then fine. Warm ourselves back up again, dry ourselves out because we've got some wet clothing going on here. Temperature in here is okay, we've got no afflictions, no hypothermia risk, and we are warming up nicely. Uh, so, I am going to say for this one, we've hit our time limit. So, what we shall do next video, we'll head back to the cabin by unnamed pond, we shall collect some more of the meat, we'll come back. 
uh, and we shall drop it off and we shall then I'm still a bit reluctant to leave my gear behind and hope that I can go and get it but I'm fairly sure if we think about it when we were in Milton even though we had that thing where we moved on down a different pathway and then we couldn't go back we did at least get a bit of warning we were sent there by the Grey Mother and we, we kind of had to make our own way there and we could do what we wanted on the way so I'm kind of hoping we'll still get the chance if we get sent to do a transition into another region or to go to a particular location I probably won't risk it I'll go and get my gear but otherwise uh, I think we can probably risk leaving it there get the meat come back for the next one drop it off move on to the next part with Jeremiah and then we'll go and get our gear back um, and we I think I've still got some cured hides knocking about so we might even be able to do some crafting and craft ourselves some of the deer skin clothing but we'll see how we get on but right now i'm going to say thank you very much for watching as always as we carry on through the long dark i really don't know how much more of the story mode there is left that we haven't played this section has definitely been bigger than the, the first bit in milton with gray mother this bit's been a little bit longer it's in more familiar territory we've had to travel across more regions um and things like that so i don't know how long we've got left really but we'll find out i think next time so thank you very much for watching i shall see you again very soon